very good evening and welcome to our evening prayer on this Wednesday the 24th of June 2020. Today we are keeping the feast of the Nativity of St John the Baptist. John the Baptist of course one of the most important of the biblical saints uh, regarded as the forerunner of Christ and by tradition today rather than uh, the date of his um, rather than the date of his death is kept as the traditional main feast day and that's because most of the stories about John the Baptist concern his birth, uh, his miraculous birth and the way that uh, he leapt in the womb as his mother greeted the as yet unborn saviour Christ and so we celebrate today the feast of the birth of St John the Baptist God, make speed to save us, O Lord, make haste to help us. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and your glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God, to you be creator of light and darkness, to you be praise and glory forever. As evening falls, you renew your promise to renew among us the light of your presence. May your word be a lantern to our feet and a light upon our path, that we may behold your coming among us. Strengthen us in our stumbling weakness and free our tongues to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. And the evening hymn for this evening, it's an Advent hymn. Creator of the stars of light. Creator of the stars of light, your people's everlasting light. O Jesus, Saviour of us all. Regard thy servants when they call, thou grieving at the bitter cry of all creation doomed to die. Didst come to save a ruined race with healing gifts of heavenly grace. Thou camest, bridegroom of the bride, as drew the world to evening tide, proceeding from a virgin shrine. The Son of Man, yet Lord Divine, at Thy great name exalted now, all knees must bend, all hearts must bow, all things in heaven and earth shall own, that Thou art Lord and King alone. To Thee, O Holy One, we pray, our Judge in that tremendous day. Preserve us while we dwell below From every onslaught of the foe All praise eternal Son to Thee Whose advent sets Thy people free With whom with the Father we adore And Spirit blessed for evermore And that this evening may be holy, good and peaceful let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. And Psalm 80. Hear, O shepherd of Israel, you that lead Joseph like a flock, shine forth you that are enthroned upon the cherubim before Ephraim, Brendamin, and Manasseh. Stir up your mighty strength and come to our salvation. Turn us again, O God, show the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angry at your people's prayer? You feed them with the bread of tears, you give them abundance of tears to drink. You make us the scorn, the derision of our neighbours, and our enemies laugh us to scorn. Turn again, O God of hosts, show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt, you drove out the nations and planted it. You made room around it, and when it had taken root, it filled the land. The hills were covered with its shadow, and the cedars of God by its boughs. It stretched out its branches to the sea, and its tendrils to the river. Why then have you broken down its wall, all that all who pass by pluck off its grapes? The wild boar out of the woods tears it off and all the insects of the field devour it. Turn again, O God of hosts, look down from heaven and behold, cherish this vine that which your right hand has planted, and the branch that you have made so strong for yourself. Let those who burnt it with fire, who cut it down, perish at the rebuke of your countenance. 
Let your hand be upon the mine at your right hand, the son of man you made so strong for yourself. And so we will not go back from you. Give us life, and we shall call upon your name. Turn us again, O Lord, God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Psalm 82. God has taken his stand in the council of heaven. In the midst of the gods, he gives judgment. How long will you judge unjustly and show such favour to the wicked? You were to judge the weak and the orphan, defend the right of the humble and needy, rescue the weak and the poor, deliver them from the hand of the wicked. They have no knowledge or wisdom. They walk on still in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. Therefore I say that though you are gods and all of you children of the Most High, Nevertheless, you shall die like mortals and fall like one of their princes. Arise, O God, and judge the earth, for it is you that shall take all nations for your possession. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading from the book of Malachi, chapter 4. See, the day is coming, burning like an oven, when all the arrogant and all evildoers will be stubble. The day that comes shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, so that it will leave them neither root nor branch. But for you who revere my name, the sun of righteousness shall dawn with healing in its wings. You shall go out leaping like calves from the stall, and you shall tread down the wicked, for they will be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day when I shall act, says the Lord of hosts. Remember the teaching of my servant Moses, the statutes and ordinances that I commanded him at Horeb for all Israel. Lo, I will send you the prophet Elijah before the great and terrible day of the Lord comes. He will turn the hearts of parents to their children and the hearts of children to their parents, so that I will not come and strike the land with a curse. Here ends the first reading. And our canticle. Surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Behold, I am coming soon, says the Lord, in bringing my reward with me, to give to everyone according to their deeds. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who do God's commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life, and may enter into the city through the gates. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to you with this testimony for all the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David. I am the bright morning star. Come, say the Spirit and the bride. Come, let it hear a reply. Come forward, you who are thirsty. Let those who desire take the water of life as a gift. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honour and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. Surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Second reading from St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 11. When John heard in prison what the Messiah was doing, he sent word by his disciples and said to him, Are you the one who is to come, or are we to wait for another? Jesus answered them, Go and tell John what you hear and see. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor have good news brought to them. And blessed is anyone who takes no offence at me. As they went away, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go into the wilderness to look at? A reed shaken by the wind? What then did you go out to see? Someone dressed in soft robes. Look, those who wear soft robes are in royal palaces. What then did you go out to see? A prophet? Oh, yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet, this is the one about whom it is written, See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way before you. Truly, I tell you, among those born of woman, no one has arisen greater than John the Baptist, yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John came, and if you are willing to accept it, he is Elijah who is to come. Let anyone with ears listen. But to what will I compare this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling to one another. We played the flute for you and you didn't dance. We wailed and you didn't mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they said, He has a demon. 
the Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom is vindicated by her deeds. And the responsory. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord, in your word is my hope. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord, in your word is my hope. There is forgiveness with you so that you shall be feared. In your word is my hope. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord, in your word is my hope. And the Magnificat. The child born of Mary is more than a prophet. He will proclaim the way of the Lord. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has come to the he has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The child born of Elizabeth is more than a prophet, for he will proclaim the way of the Lord. And so we come now to our prayers of intercession. On this feast of the Nativity of St John the Baptist, praying as always for the Church throughout the world, as it proclaims the good news of the coming of Christ. We pray for the Diocese of Kord Kivu in province of Congo for Muhindo, its bishop, for the Diocese of Armidale in Australia, and for its bishop Richard. Pray as always for Gregory, our own bishop. We pray for the Valley Crucis mission area this month, praying for Martin Snellgrove, the mission area leader, praying for the clergy, people and churches of that mission area, and for Barry Wilson, their archdeacon. We pray today for the Friends of St. Garmin's Church, Clan Armon, that so many people wish to see the church open and alive in our community. We pray for those who are preparing for the opening of churches, especially for those who are preparing for the opening of churches here in Wrexham. We pray for those who will be opening St. Giles, praying for volunteers, and praying for those who will come to pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, as we pray for the world around us, we pray especially for those who have been forgotten during the coronavirus outbreak, for those who continue to suffer because of poverty, violence, warfare, oppression of any kind. We pray for those who have been victims of prejudice, and we pray that the spirit of John the Baptist may inspire us all to proclaim the good news of the coming of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we remember those in our community, we pray particularly for all those who are in prison at this time, for Daniel in particular, and for all those unable to see family and loved ones, also those in nursing homes and residential homes, and Colin in particular. We pray for Luke and Emma, for Louise, Elwyn and Gwen, Anne, Sue, Amanda, Graham, Richard, Tim, Muriel. We also pray for those who are bereaved, praying especially for Frankie Hazel and their family, for Teresa Jennifer and their family, for Brian and Michael and their family, and for Jean and her family. We ask you, Lord, to touch them with your healing love and your grace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And in a few moments of quiet, Heavenly Father, we remember those who have gone before us in the faith, and those whose faith was known to you alone, especially Nat, David, Irene, Vicky, and John. Rest eternal, grant to them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them, 
May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we bring to you our prayers, our petitions and our concerns. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So the collect for the Nativity of St. John the Baptist. Almighty God, by his providence, your son John the ba your servant John the Baptist, was wonderfully born and sent to prepare the way of your son, our Saviour, by the preaching of repentance. Lead us to repent according to his preaching, and after his example, constantly to speak the truth, boldly to rebuke vice, patiently to suffer for the truth's sake. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, we pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Hope you have a, a wonderful evening. Uh, the birds are singing around me. I'm uh, joined by some of the cats. They appear to be around me somewhere. I'll see if I can uh, um, get a still photo of them. But uh, um, just to say that um, St Giles, I hope, will be open tomorrow morning. Um, this is um, Thursday, the 25th day after it was supposed to be open. But uh, um, the drive still isn't quite finished, I'm afraid. But uh, uh, if you bear with us, but it will be open tomorrow between 10 and 12, and that will be for the first time. So please do, please do come along if you're able, and um, also if you're able to volunteer and you live locally, please also get in touch. Thank you very much. <laughs>